brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you outer tie rod replacement. This is a 2003 Honda Civic. It's the same for 2001 to 2005 Civic, as well as a couple other uh, Honda models. And we show you on the driver side, passenger side is the same procedure. Items you'll need are a new outer tie rod or tie rods from 1AAuto.com, 17 to 24 millimeter sockets, wrenches and ratchet, a torque wrench, breaker bar or tire iron, small hammer, needle nose pliers, and some penetrating oil. Remove the front wheel, held on by four 19 millimeter lug nuts. If you have a different style hubcap, you'll need to remove that but just use a breaker bar or your tire iron and loosen the lug nuts while the tire is on the ground. Now raise and support the vehicle. Now remove the lug nuts the rest of the way and the wheel and tire. The outer tie rod is right here. 17 millimeter nut holds it here. You remove the cotter pin. And then there's a 21 millimeter lock nut, which we're going to use a nice big 21 millimeter wrench. And as you're looking at it, you're turning it clockwise. Okay, and if you notice, we actually turned, we're just going to turn that about a quarter of a turn. If when you turn this lock nut, you also turn the inner tie rod, just make note of it so that you can turn it back the same amount and just get so that you can get yourself in a good preliminary alignment. You will want to have your vehicle aligned after you do this repair. Remove the cotter pin. Normally the pin should drive out pretty easy, but it's giving us a hard time, so we're going to use a little penetrating oil and let it sit for a bit. And you may have to use a set of these cutting pliers. So we were able to get half of the cotter pin off. We're just gonna, a lot of times if you've got it off and pretty well damaged, you can just pull the uh, nut off and it'll shear it right off as it comes off. And then give the uh, steering knuckle a few good taps with a hammer to break the tie rod free. And now you can just take your tie rod right off. Old part from the vehicle, new tie rod end from 1A Auto. You can see it's exactly the same. Take the castle nut off. New part comes with a new lock nut and a cotter pin. Uh, if you like, you can grab hold of your inner tie rod, and free up your existing lock nut and take it off. Not necessary though, you can put the new tie rod on, the new tie rod on and use the existing lock nut that's on there already. So put the tie rod in. It should go right around to about where it was. Reinstall your tie rod. Down and on. Put the castle nut on. Tighten the castle nut to 32 foot pounds and then tighten it any more you might need to get the cotter pin through the hole in the tie rod. See the holes there. Probably need to go another sixteenth of a turn. Okay, and insert the cotter pin. And use a pair of pliers and bend it over. appropriate size wrench to hold 
the tie rod. In this case, it's an 18 millimeter. And then 24 millimeter to get our lock nut on the back. and tighten it up. Put your wheel back in place. Start your lug nuts. We'll tighten them preliminarily and then torque them when the vehicle is back down on the ground. And tighten your lug nuts, 80 foot-pounds, and just cross in the pattern. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also, check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.